All right, this is the knife that I want to show you today, SL24. As you see in the description of this video, you can open this knife in uh, various ways, three ways actually, at least. So this is the normal opening with the flipper. You can open it from here with just uh, you know the flick of your thumb and from below, spidey flick or whatever, bottom flick or how do you call it. And it's cool, it, you can play with it, it's a little bit bigger. So uh, when I open it at the first, because I saw it in the pictures, so I purchased it from eBay. When I open it at first, I thought it's wow, it's bigger than expected. And yeah, some people think that it's bigger. For me, it was a pleasant surprise. I kind of like bigger knives. My hands are relatively big, so the knife doesn't look quite huge in my hands. Let's see how it is compared to Power Military 2, as always. And yeah, it's bigger than Power Military. Not as much, not big, not as big. I mean, not as huge difference, but still, the knife itself feel mm, heavy and bulky. Although this is carbon fiber, there's titanium liners, and those liners are also skeletonized, as you can see from inside. So they are cut. But even with cuts and everything, it's kind of on a heavier side. The knife. Uh, it looks pretty awesome. The blade and everything. You see, the blade doesn't have. The cutting edge doesn't have any straight lines, it's it's continuous curve, which of course is the same here, although this first portion here looks a little bit flat, here you don't have that, you don't have flat, it's only curve, 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 curve. But yeah, SL24, uh, D2 steel again, which again, I'm not completely a super fan of D2 steel. But it has a pocket clip, you can easily take it out of your pocket because the pocket clip is not deep at all. So you can grab it here and pull it out. It stays uh, nicely in the pocket, it's pretty thick. But this makes it kind of comfortable to hold. It's pretty comfortable knife and uh, yeah, but would I use this knife? Probably not. Why? Because if for example I need a knife for the forest or whatever, I probably will get some knife which is a little bit not so heavy. This one is heavy. Let's see the amalgam. I think this was the Spyrako amalgam. It's much lighter knife. Sometimes you cannot open it like this. The size of the amalgam is bigger. So the amalgam is bigger knife. Overall the the blade length, the the sharpened point, uh, so the, the edge on the SL24 is a little bit bigger or longer. But the amalgam is yeah, even if it's G10 scales, although it looks a little bit like carbon fiber, it's G10. It's just a kind of nicer knife to, to hold. Of course, it's much, much more expensive. This one is not even $100, I think below $100, this one. And uh, you can find it again in white, white Mountain Knives, in eBay, and I don't know where else, but not much places else. And it's uh, it's a well-made knife, it's not the best manufacturers uh, here. It's a little bit, you know, visible. Here it's almost not, so it's a little bit inconsistent. But it it doesn't matter that much for this type of knife. It's a D2 steel, it's kind of on a cheap end, although the handle is made from premium materials, we may say. The blade is kind of a cheap D2 steel, which, yeah, I'm not completely a fan of, we may say. I prefer S30V, uh, for example, like this one. I think this was S30V, yeah? S30V. Uh, it probably is the better steel, but... Still, uh, you know, Six Leaf and Tucson, they love their D2 steel, and it's not the worst. I've used this knife for a longer period of time, which is also a D2 steel, and this is one of my favorite knives from Tucson. Yeah, you may say, but why? It's a Micarta handle, my cap, Micarta handle. But it's a nice blade, a nice broad blade, and it's uh, with very light. The, the knife itself is kind of a, on a big side. It's not super big. It's smaller than the SL24, but it's it's big enough. It's good to hold. It's relatively secure with this thing here. You cannot go into the blade. This one also, of course, is secure to have this thing here. But it's um, it's a very, very beautiful, in my opinion, knife. And my carta is pretty nice to hold. It's it's a very nice knife. I love it. I love it. Just love it. And you will say which one is this? This one is TS three five seven. It's a pretty cool knife. Uh, so yeah, about this one, uh, 
some people say it's a little bit bigger than they expected. They prefer it to be smaller, which is okay. I like it for the size of it, but I don't think there is a lot you can use it. Of course, you can use it at your home for something for cutting or whatever. The idea is that, uh, as with most knives, I don't have them for practical purposes, most of my knives. I have them because I like the design, or I like the materials, or I like the feel of the knife. And this one, I really like the overall look of it, the design. Um, and it's, as I said, it's comfortable, and it can be nice to hold because you have this thing here. It's, it's kind of good for, for example, to, to chop some wood or whatever. It could be nice. It's a liner lock, and yeah, a couple of ways to open, make it a little bit more fidgety than some other knives, which have, for example, this one has um, this way of opening from below. You can try, and also you can try from here, but it's super difficult to open it from here. Uh, from this thing, it's almost impossible. Sometimes it happens, but it's very difficult. So yeah, SL. 24 is a little bit more fidgety, we may say. It uh, kind of you can play with it. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't happen, but whatever. So it's it's kind of cool knife uh, in my opinion. If you like, of course, the design, everything is subjective. You can like it a lot. I think many people will just uh, fall in love with this knife. Many people will say it's super ugly, especially the handle. It's a little bit ugly with these things here, but for some people, I think it could be just the perfect knife and uh, bear in mind the price it's below a hundred dollars so it's it's pretty cool it's pretty nice so see you in the next